Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the AC through a resistance only. The circuit containing only resistance, for that we can see the solved problem. The problem one is, a voltage of 240 sin 377T. This voltage is applied to a 6 ohm resistor. We need to find the instantaneous current, phase angle, impedance, instantaneous power, average power and power factor. For this given data, we need to find these details. So, based on that, the given data are, the voltage is available, V equal to 240 sin 377T. So, this is nothing but a standard form, V equal to Vm sin omega t. So, from that, this Vm is nothing but 240. This Vm maximum voltage is 240. Similarly, this omega is nothing but 377. By comparing these two equations, we can easily identify Vm equal to 240 voltage. This omega is 377 radian per second. Already the resistance R is given as 6 ohm. First, we will find the instantaneous current. That is nothing but I equal to Vm by R sin omega t. So, Vm is 240, R is 6. So, sin 377T, this 377 already available. So, 240 by 6 is 40, 40 sin 377T ampere. So, this is the equation for current. Then the next one, phase angle. For resistive circuit, the phase angle will be 0. There is no phase angle. The current and voltage are in phase. Then impedance, impedance also only resistor is available. So, it is 6 ohm. If it is capacitive or inductive is there, we need to add, but here only resistor is available. Then instantaneous power, the formula for instantaneous power is Vm Im sin square omega t. It's a formula for the instantaneous power. Vm is 240, Im is 40, sin square 377 t. So, 240 into 40 is 9600 sin square 377 t. Then the average power. P equal to Vm Im by 2. This is a formula for average power. 240 into 40 divided by 2, it is 4800 watts. Then the power factor. The power factor here in the resistive circuit, the both current and voltage are in phase. The angle is 0. The power factor is cos pi. The pi value is 0 in case of, in case of the resistive circuit. The angle between current and voltage is 0, both are in phase. So, cos 0 is 1. For purely resistive circuit, the power factor will be 1. Now, we will go to the second problem. A voltage of E equal to 200 sin omega t, when applied to a resistor, it is found to give a power of 100 watts. When this voltage is applied to the resistive circuit, the power output is 100 watts. The question is find the value of resistance and equation of the current. So, the given data the E equal to 200 sin omega t. So, with the comparing with the standard form V equal to Vm sin omega t. So, by comparing these two equation this Vm equal to 200 voltage. The angle is not available right and also the power is given as 100 watts. Now, we need to find the current as well as current equation as well as the resistance. First, we will find the average power, so that we can find the resistance. Average power P equal to Vm Im divided by 2. So, the power already given 100 watts, Vm is 200, Im is not known divided by 2. So, cross multiply this 100 into 2 equal to 200 into Im. So, that Im equal to 100 into divided by 2 into divided by 200. So, it is 1. So, I am equal to 1 ampere. So, from the given power as well as Vm VL value, we calculated the current is 1 ampere. From this, we can easily calculate the resistance. Vm equal to I m R. V equal to I R based on the Ohm's law. Vm is 200. I m we calculated 1 ampere into R. So, that R equal to 200 or equal to 200 ohm. So, current calculated from the current we calculated the resistance value. Then we will we'll go to the equation, current equation. 
i equal to im sin omega t. im value is 1. So, 1 into sin omega t, that is nothing but sin omega t. i equal to sin omega t. So, we calculated resistance as well as current equation. Now, we will go to the third problem. A voltage of E 200 sin omega t when applied to a resistor it is found to give a power of 100 watts. Find the value of resistance and write the equation of current and also state whether the value of R varies with the frequency is changed. So this much voltage is applied at the time we got 100 watts power we need to find what is the resistor value and also current equation and we need to identify whether there is any variation in the frequency will change the R value. So from the given data E equal to 250 sin omega t. The standard form is V equal to Vm sin omega t. By comparing these two equation Vm equal to 250. Already power is given as 100 watts. So in order to find the resistance first we will find the current value from the average power. Average power value is given so that we can find the current. P equal to Vm Im divided by 2. The P value is given, power is given 100 watts. The Vm is 250 into Im by 2. Now cross multiply this, 100 into 2 equal to 250 into Im. So Im equal to 100 into 2 divided by 250, that is 0.8. Im is 0.8. So, from the given power value and voltage value, we calculated the current. By using the current, we can able to find the resistor value. Vm equal to Im into R. V equal to Ir based on Ohm's law. Vm is 250. Im is 0.8 into R. So, that R equal to 250 divided by 0 0.8. 312.5 Ohm. So, we calculated the resistance also. Now we will go to the current I equal to I m sin omega t. The I m value is nothing but 0 0.8. So that I equal to 0 0.8 sin omega t. Now we framed the equation also. Now we will go to the one more division that is a frequency. The frequency that is not applicable. The both current and voltage are in phase. The resistance is independent of the frequency. So the any variation in the frequency will not affect the resistance value in the resistive circuit. So, the resistive circuit it is independent of frequency. So, in this video we discuss about when only resistor is available in the AC circuit what is the nature we solve the three different problems. Thank you.